uh, years. Our next guest made us laugh as Corky on the hit series Murphy Brown, and now she's at it again with a new sitcom, Hope and Faith. Please give a warm welcome to Faith Ford. They love you. Oh, they're so sweet. Y'all yes, are so nice. They are, aren't they? I, they're the sweetest people in the world that come. <laughs> so kind of love thing happens when people come here. It's a, it's a really loving atmosphere. They so, love you. Well, and they, and, and they So, and we go back a long way. That's right. We were in acting class together. That's right. We started together, me and Jane Leaves. From, at, from uh, Frasier. Yeah, from Frasier. She plays Daphne Moon. Yeah. I don't remember. I didn't stay too long. How long were you? I, I uh, clearly, look at me. Um, <laughs> You were in and out. You were always going out on the circuit. Yeah, I was still doing stand-up. You and Paul Poundstone. Paula was in that also. And Jim yeah. Carrey. Jim Carrey. It was in our acting class. I don't remember yeah, that. Yeah, he was in before you came in. Really? Yeah. He was in before I came in. Really? But Jane remembers him. Well, may, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't remember it. Anyway, Jane and I. You know that we were roommates too. Yeah, I heard that you were roommates. And and now how did she fold clothes also, just like Michael Douglas folded for uh, Danny? <laughs> No, my husband's the, the great folder. She didn't fold anything. She's actually was very not tidy. She's not tidy. No. You're, you're the tight. You're compulsive, aren't you? That's right. You'll admit it. Yes, and, I am. And, and compulsive in, uh, in what way, would you say? Well, I'm compulsive, compulsive about things like, I, I like things very tidy. And sort of everything has a place. A place has everything. And everything has a place. Well, There's a place for everything. All right, all right well, you're... you're Yes, that was compulsive because you said it three times. <laughs> so I agree. I'm a, I'm a neat freak also. You I, are. I really like things organized. But have you always been? Like, yes. Have you always been like that? I, I'm a Virgo. Y you? Yeah. And are you neat also? Being so Virgos are neat are neat people. We're known for being very neat and compulsive. We don't like. Well, Jane used to leave her her little. Uh, what are you looking at? Cup of tea on the floor. That's oh. how I remember because that's where it was at the corner of the sofa. As you would come around and you would kick it. Oh, that that is uh, when people put things on the floor. <laughs> you're asking for it. Somebody's yeah. gonna somebody's gonna cross their legs and knock something over. That's you can't put right. something on the floor like yeah. that. And us Virgos, we don't like that. Okay, and I'm Aquarius. What does that mean? That means um, I don't think you're compulsively neat. I am. You are? Yes. You must have a Virgo rising. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was what I ate for lunch. I don't know. What <laughs> Um, so, no, I, I think I wasn't neat as a kid, but then I, I learned to, to be neat, and I'm very, very neat now. And you're very so, talkative. Uh, yes, but I can shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why you're good at doing this. You're a good chatter. Well, I, I, love, I love to chat, so <laughs> yes, I am loving this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be quiet for the next couple of minutes because we have to go to commercial anyway, so oh, I'm not going to... Look, watch. We'll be right back. <laughs> With the uh, lovely and compulsive Faith Ford, you're wiping your hands with these Clorox wipes. Wipes. You're obsessed with these. I love them. All right. They're, I like them everywhere. You have them everywhere. Everywhere. They're disinfectant things, and you just wipe your hands constantly. Yes. I I want the Clorox people to call me immediately. They will. <laughs> yeah. All you have to do is tell them. I, I'm telling you, I have so many dog do you do things. It? I wipe Look, the, wipe the bottom of my shoes with these. <laughs> All right. When I come in from outside so, on the street, because in look, New York. in her purse, she let me. She gave me permission to go through. I would never do this. In her purse, because she carries stuff around just in case she ever needs anything. I find these socks, <laughs> which I don't think go with those shoes. I'm pretty sure <laughs> they're for on the plane. Look, what's that about? Oh. <laughs> A, um, a, a medical kit that you have in here. There's a mirror. There's all men that you a ton of wet wipes. <laughs> <laughs> you must get dirty a lot. There's a, <laughs> there's a shout alcohol sh swabs, oh, shout wipes. You could probably give me stitches. Yeah, Purell. <laughs> yeah, I've got needle and thread there. I could give you stitches. All right, well, hang out and, and see if I need anything. And yeah. you can give me what's that? Is that more hand lotion? More Purell. Oh. <laughs> Are you Howard Hughes or something? <laughs> you are really. I'm, I'm surprised that you allowed me to hug you. Are you? Are you? You could have like a plastic suit on, like you're walking on the moon or something, walking around. <laughs> no. All right. So, so uh, now, this is first now, aid cream. This will be good for your cut. Okay. Well.
well then we'll put it on. Yeah, okay. You put it on inside of this, right? Yeah, you have to take that off. Though. I don't want to see it. <laughs>